What's going on you guys? Gavin here. Today I'm going to be going over my 6.39 PB average of 5 on square one that I just got. Unfortunately, it was off tape. Um, however, these scrambles were insane. I just got very lucky on them. Um, I knew most of these cases, but for some reason I didn't trace them. Uh, but yeah, I, <laughs> I got a counting 5 in it, so I mean I'd say that's pretty good and you know, I just lucky scrambles. I don't think I'm going to beat this for a long time, but yeah, let's just go over these. Okay, so this first scramble was a 7.60. So this case I knew. Well, this case I do know because it's Gallup Kite and I traced, um, um, I don't remember what I traced. I, sorry, I traced um, even, which is bad. Um, so I went straight into the case and it, it was actually set up perfectly. Like that, and then like that, and then I had CO, and then EO was 3, 3, and then I got T on top, and then this on the bottom, but I knew both of them were going to be um, U perms, so I just set up into it, and then I got good W, which I know how to execute that case pretty nicely. And yeah, so that was that was surprisingly my worst solve, but it was nice, nicely executed. All right, so my second solve was a five point six nine, which was my best solve. So I I don't remember if I know this case, but I didn't trace it anyways, just because I just I'm still in the process of just trying to remember how to trace everything and whatever. Um, but I just set up like this for shield shield, and then. Um, I had CO, and if you don't notice, if you go like that, it would have given you, it would have given me JN, but I didn't actually notice that because I, I'm stupid, and so I did this into um, M2, and then I, for some reason, I think did this or something, but I misaligned this layer because of the block, and then I had edge edge. Um, if I would have done it the other way, so if I would have executed CO better, it would have probably given me a 4, because, whoops, I would have just been set up straight into this. So, a little bit unfortunate, but that's alright. Um, so this next scramble is a 573, five, sorry, 574. Um, so this is a counting 5, which I never get. It is very rare that I get a counting 5. Um, Obviously, scramble was easy. It was like seven slices for just the scramble, and it was fist, good fist, fist. So, or sorry, um, not good fist, fist. Y'all, I'm trying to learn my phrases. All right, um, sorry. This is opposite fist. Um, so that's just the two slicer, and so I just went straight into it, and then here I kind of recognized what the EO would be because I know that when you when I set it up like that. And then you put this one in, it's going to set up to a 1-1, one, one, which I can immediately do like this. And while I was doing that as well, I was also looking for the headlights. I noticed them here, and I just knew there was the block already. So I just went straight into it. Whoops. And because of the blocks here, I preserved this. And I went straight into a U-perm, executed it. Probably even faster than that, like, whoops, around that fast without messing up, but this is where I started to freak out because I'm like, whoa, counting five, I don't normally get those, um, but yeah, let's just continue on with the average, I'm kind of rambling a lot. Uh, so this was my fourth solve, this was a 7.07, .07. this um, case I do know, but I didn't trace it for some reason. Um, I don't know exactly why, but for some reason I didn't. Um, but I just went straight into it. And then CO. EO. And then I just went straight into CP because I already knew where the um, headlights were. And then I did op op into good U perm. And then like that. I don't remember exactly how I executed. I think I did the equator flip in the AUG. Um, I'm not exactly sure, but I just know I got a 707. 
And for the last solve was a 635, and this is where I jumped out of my seat just screaming. Um, so uh, I had this case here, and so I flipped it because you set it up into paw paw like this. And then I had CO, and then EO, and then, sorry, I did it. I did this, and this is the same case. This is not AA, I don't know exactly what this is called, but I knew it was gonna give me op op just because of just doing a bunch of solves and recognizing it. I wonder what this would have given me. So this would have given me edge edge, but I got op op <clears throat> with the equator flipped, so I just went straight into that, and then ABF, and I stopped the timer, and I saw that it was a 635, looked at the average, it was a 6.39, so, I mean, <laughs> I, I'd say this is a pretty good average, I don't think I'm going to beat it for a long time, and it's just the crazy thing to think about, because I remember getting a 6.39 PB single, like, three or four years ago, and the fact that I've got, gotten this far now, I mean, currently I'm averaging around, like, high eights. So the fact that I got this, honestly, is incredible. I, I I, just can't stop saying I don't think I'm going to beat this for a long time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the solves and just the video in general. Um, I need to get a new square one and hopefully I'll get better with CSP. And, you know, I got a comp next month that uh, the Mains and Goals video will be out in probably, I'd say, around a month-ish or so. So yeah, but thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.